happy fifth day of vlogmas everyone it is december 5th tuesday to continue on the holiday spirit we're gonna be going to fresh market we're gonna go look at all their christmas stuff when you walk into there it's like a nicer trader joe's and the christmas section and the holiday section is unreal it is so cool the amount of candies they have the amount of different like knickknacks it's just really cool fresh market is food based so if you haven't heard of fresh market it's like a whole foods i'm going to buy a few things and we can taste test them we can like try them out i can review them i love when shops do this i love being in america because in london yes many places did this but i don't know i just feel like americans they really like to capitalize on what they're selling so they love selling and making money so like they make the most random things for christmas it's like is it even necessary you know is it necessary but i think it is i think it's very necessary we're actually in the parking lot of my part-time job as you all know i work at pure bar front desk i just got done i got to work at 8 a.m it is now currently 1 30 and i've been working all day i got to take a class your first class back in a while it's just hard but you can work it back up you know i'm really excited to get back into the swing of things get back to the body i like and want and i just feel so strong when i do incorporate pure bar exercises within my week besides that let's go the calendars are so adorable oh they're so cute oh they're so traditional we used to have these as kids and mom would always get us one and we'd fight over which ones we could get. Oh, the treats. Oh, oh. Just so many things. Like look at these hot cocoa bombs. Hot chocolate. What lump of coal? Ew, is that licorice? Milk chocolate. They're so cute. Hot chocolate kit. Oh my gosh, these look phenomenal. Slices. These are so cute. Elf on the shelf toys. It's edible snow. Bread bus. Oh, these are all fruit cakes. Okay, got a few things. So let's go through. I love peeps. I know that's such an unpopular opinion in a way. Like some people you either love it or hate it. I love peeps, so really i'm like mouth is watering i'm really excited to bite into these marshmallows these sugar covered marshmallows they're so yummy i got three little snowmen so super simple super easy and then i got these waffle cones that are filled with peppermint dark chocolate you know drumsticks like the ice cream drumsticks when you're a kid ice cream lick it once you get to the bottom it's like filled with chocolate leftover chocolate and that was like one of the best parts these are them. It's just them without having to eat the whole ice cream. You're just eating popping little bottoms of chocolate filled cones in here. In your mouth. So good. Yum. Ugh. The smell. That was really good. This is for a future vlog. But I got a gingerbread making kit and we're gonna be doing that for another vlog. Comes with gingerbread mini village kit. No baking needed, makes four mini buildings. I love a cheap gingerbread kit. I mean, there's nothing better than like tasting cardboard when you buy into the gingerbread of the house, when you eat it at the end of the season or mid season and you just secretly hide it from your mom seeing that you bit into it. Great, yummy, so fantastic. This is what being an American is. Eating cardboard tasting gingerbread houses that are like old and have been sitting out for so long throughout the whole season. Now, let's go into this local shop. There's a local shop in this area and let's go see what they have there. Thank you. 
I did not buy anything there, but oh my gosh, it was all so adorable. The knickknacks, like you don't imagine how many knickknacks you can possibly buy until you go into one of the stores and you're like, I want everything that is being displayed. I am so hungry, so let's go get some lunch and then let's go home. Yesterday when I got home, my mom and dad were with their two friends, Rick and Marcy, our two family friends, mom and dad. We have a really big couch in our living room, like really long, really big. They were watching a movie together and they had the fireplace on and the Christmas tree on and they had Elf on and it was just really magical. So I got to go home to that. So it was just perfect. Oh, I think my mom's calling me. The Christmas lights are so cute. They're always so good at being festive and decorating everything. Hi. Hi, can I get an every order? Mobile order is Izzy. Would you like to make any changes? No, thank you. All right, you are good to go. Have a lovely Thanks. day. Thanks, you too. I got grilled nuggets. This is what they look like, yummy. And then so I dip it in a little bit of buffalo sauce. So it's really, really good. Passing by a lot of schools, and I just remember, like I just had this memory. I loved the holiday times during elementary school and like little school. We did so many fun activities. Like for arts and crafts, we would sit there and we'd make ornaments for our tree. We would make Santa hats and elves and snowmen and all those things. It was so fun. And then also we would have a holiday party. So we'd have like a Christmas party. Everyone would bring snacks in the tree and just something super holiday themed. And it was so fun. Like the nostalgia I have for those days of like early elementary school leading up to Christmas time. There's like a day where you do a half day. So you go home early. Oh my goodness. The amount of happiness I would have to leave early from school is actually insane. I don't know if any of y'all remember this kind of happiness and this kind of joy and purity. Like it was so pure. It was pure happiness of like, oh my gosh, Santa Claus is coming soon. Some people I know might not celebrate Christmas. You might celebrate different holidays because of your religion, your background, your culture, whatever it is. But just the overall nostalgia of family time during this season, if that makes sense. So anytime I say Christmas, Please associate it with your holiday that you celebrate with your friends and family. This is just purely my experience and how I grew up. So not even just Christmas, it was Valentine's Day. It was the most phenomenal day in elementary school and in earlier preschool, like middle school, all those things. Because Valentine's Day, you would each make your own little bucket or your own little receiving thing and you decorate it with pink and purple and red and so many hearts and glitter and everything. It was wonderful. And then at home, you'd buy a Valentine's box, whatever theme you want. I'll probably put pictures when I'm editing of like the different boxes they had back in the day in like 2000s. And oh my goodness, I love that because you get to like write to whoever from Izzy and you got to sit down and write all these little Valentines that you got to bring to school in like a little grocery bag you had the Valentine's and you had a whole entire party. So everything, all the cookies, all the treats, everything was Valentine's themed. It was phenomenal. Looking back on it, I cannot believe I took those things for granted. I thought they would last forever. They don't last forever. So I'm so excited, honestly, to experience that again when I have kids. That is gonna be phenomenal. I cannot wait. I am such a kid person. I love holidays. I love Christmas. I wanna sit and watch all the Christmas movies. I wanna sit and watch all the kid movies. Oh, I miss the holidays when we were younger. It was so fun. But we're also still trying to bring that kid holiday spirit to your screen, wherever you're watching this. That is my mission with Vlogmas, is I'm going to try to romanticize it so much that you feel the jolly cheer through this vlog. You better feel the jolly cheer. If you don't, then I am doing something wrong. I'm like a little elf working super hard for Santa, which is like YouTube. YouTube is Santa, I'm the elf working really hard to make YouTube Santa proud. Yeah. Wow, what a good analogy. I love coming home to my, stop! I hear you! Oh my gosh. 
my favorite part of coming home. I love seeing my cats. Look, she's running back and forth. She's like waiting. Oh my gosh. She's so cute. I never get tired of her. And I don't think you guys ever do. I know there's a couple of people on here. I see your comments. I know you guys are watching this for my cats. And I absolutely agree with you. Like, seriously, I probably wouldn't even watch myself unless it was for my cats. Like, I would watch for the cats. I get it. Hi, baby. to give the people what they want. Phoebe. Phoebe, come here. She's just ignoring me right there. Phoebe, come here. Ruth, will you come here? Thank you, Wooty. <sighs> All of the holly jolly spirit, right Phoebe? Just in, I got a text about a job interview, which is really exciting, but this is what happens. You get everything situated. So like you have everything, okay, I'm gonna be on this path. I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna stay at Pure Bar. I'm gonna learn to be an instructor, like whatever it is, okay? You get on this idea, this set path. And then, and then life decides to throw a curveball and say, Hi, this is Ariana with Blank. I was able to look over your application for our social media content creator opening and would love to set up a phone interview with you. Please use the link below to set up a time that works best for you. And I'm like, oh my gosh, this is amazing. Like, this is great. It's my first interview of a real big time job. But now I'm like, ugh. Oh. Like I'm just, I'm, I've been having so much fun. I got a schedule down and I got a routine down. I'm like, okay, this is gonna be a few months of this, you know? And then maybe possibly I'll find another job. But then it's like, do I wanna go to the corporate world? I need to wait for my dad and talk to my dad when he comes home. I'm gonna schedule this right now and we are gonna schedule an interview. So my first real interview, just perfect timing, you know? Just really weird how that works. I've been applying nonstop to jobs. I've applied to over I swear over 200 jobs. Maybe I'm exaggerating a little, but I swear it's been over 200 jobs. And now I'm getting one. Not getting one, I'm getting an interview. I didn't think I'd even get an interview until the new year, January. But here we are, exciting. Mm -hmm.